But Eric, as we dive into uh, spring sports, we always want to kind of take a look at what our teams have to offer in the preseason or, or you know, just the beginning right here is uh, I think some of our teams have actually played their first game. And uh, I I'm excited to see what our baseball teams will do. What have you kind of been looking at here to start things off at the season as you, you're getting ready to prepare for the games you have to do? You're kind of looking at the players that are coming back. What has caught your eye? Well, first of all, I'm thankful I don't have any games this week because <laughs> <It's cold. laughs> Mother Nature much of, Mother Nature's thrown us a major league curveball with the weather. I mean, it's just been brutal outside the last couple of days. But no, I mean, you know, you look at the, some of the schools within our viewing area, and I'll start with baseball. Mm-hmm. And, you know, obviously the effort amounts, you know, you can throw them into the mix almost every year as far as a, a section contender. And I think a lot of people are looking at them again this year because, you know, there's always going to be some losses to graduation, but they had a number of underclassmen. And I'm saying freshmen and sophomores that played last year that just got valuable playing time and experience. And that's just going to, um, you know, bode well for them when it gets on to the uh, big stage again, as far as when the season starts. So, you know, looking for that, of course, obviously the success that Warwick has had the past couple of seasons, um, I think that they're looking at a younger squad, but you know, it, it's 20 games, 21, 22 games, maybe somewhere in that ballpark. You know, that's a very short window. So if you can catch lightning in a bottle and nobody is really counting you in, you can make a lot of noise, but at the same time, if people are expecting you to be a contender and you get off to a slow start or guys are in a slump, um, it, it could make for some, you know, harrowing experiences for, for some of these guys. Yeah, and, and then man, I'm central, you know, they've got some big bats coming back. And of course, all the excitement about the new field and, and the, the turf and the lights, that's going to generate a lot of uh, energy over there. Yeah. So it, it's, I think it's just going to be so much fun to see how this all pans out here over the next uh, month, month and a half. Yeah, the excitement's already kind of started. You know, uh, yesterday the Warwick baseball team had their first game, and they won it on a, a walk-off sacrifice fly in the sixth inning because it was getting too dark. You know, mm. it, it, already some interesting ways to start your season. But, of course, if you're starting your season 1-0, you'll take it for Warwick. They they will have some some spots to fill. They have got – some guys that need to get some varsity time over there. Got some also some really solid people, and we'll talk about one or two of those here coming up in a few minutes on the show. So for Warwick, off to a good start. You mentioned the effort of baseball team. When I was going back and looking through the research for the show, they're the defending Section 2 champs and the defending league champs, right? You called that game at Clipper Magazine Stadium, and they bring back a ton of those guys. There's experience, there's youth, there's talent, there's hitting. And if you looked at the LL League Section 2 preview in the newspaper today, there's a lot of depth at pitching as well, Eric. So, I mean, just specifically the effort amounts, I mean, they've got to be overly excited over there. I know Coach Shelley had said in the, in the, in the write-up he's going for, like, his 29th season over there. You know, he's got a, a Nick Saban-like career going over there in effort. But, I mean, that's a team, I would think, in Section 2 contending for the title. And then, depending on how the bracket and the league works its way out, I'd have to imagine they'll be in the mix for the, to defend their league title again. Yeah, and, and you mentioned about the pitching, too. I mean, most pitching staffs in high school, you have a one and a two, and that's pretty much it. Then you've got some guys that, you know, have, uh, you know, spots to fill and, and roles to play. But, you know, if you have a solid two, three, maybe even a fourth pitcher and you can still work in some bullpen relief – Wow, that's that's a lot to you know to work with, and uh, you know again, it, you know, it gives you that flexibility to adjust your pitching rotation depending on the matchup that uh, you know you're going to see. Because you know, as we saw last year, you play everybody within your section three times. So, you know, not only the the physical part of baseball, but it's also the mental part of the game and trying to outthink the other coach and, and uh, strategize and things of that nature. So that's that's the fun part of it as well. Well, we, and we know Coach Shelley loves to strategize and, and catch oh. people off guard, not playing fundamentally sound and all of that. And, you know, when you think of – I looked at the write-up of the arms on that team, and there's old senior-laden arms, there's young arms, you know, and anytime you have depth, as we kind of have talked about here, that's a, that's a good thing for you. Let's take a look – at some of the key players that we're going to potentially see uh, on the field leading the way 
guys that will make a huge impact for their team uh, as we were able to kind of single out one, one or two for each team here. And I think we have uh, uh, something to show you here. And you kind of look at things for effort. You know, they have a very even team. So really just picking out uh, a standout pitcher from a year ago in Cameron Sims. And for Warwick, you know, Sawyer Martin can hit, play the outfield, will be a leader for that team. For Mannheim, it was kind of hard for their coaching staff to pick one, so we kind of just split it and went with Nolan Book and Kai Watson. Uh, you know, infield, outfield, both can hit. Both are, are strong leaders. They're going to play college at the next, or play baseball at the next level in college. And then Trent Dixon, uh, a pitcher from Cacalico, a guy that we've seen over the years that can really throw well off the mound. He's going to be a senior, and he's going to have to lead the team. So, you know, any one of those guys, Eric, that you're excited to see how they've matured and become a leader for their baseball teams, uh, I would love to, to pick your brain on that. Well, you know, Sims was a freshman last year, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So he, he yes. he's a sophomore, and he was impressive for his his uh, freshman campaign. Mm -hmm. But then you look at, you know, Martin. You know, Martin got to be around there you know, in that environment when Warwick won the state title and the excitement that that generated and, and, and the dedication that, get, you know, the kids are now putting into saying, well, look, you know, we, we want to generate something like that at the mm -hmm. same time. Then you got Book and Watson, two guys that not only hit well, but field well. And I mentioned about pitching, you know, to have a, a one or a two. Well, calico has got a very solid number one in Dixon. So uh, tremendous, uh, you know, players that we just saw up there on the screen. And I think I, I have some highlights of Trenton Dixon for Cacalico. And, and really, I want to just read you some of what he did uh, uh, last year. And it wasn't like overly impressive numbers, but he was a very solid pitcher for them. And I do think he's going to have to be a guy uh, that leads the way, and especially in, in this game that we're going to see here. But he was just lights out. I think he had 16 strikeouts in this game what against Donegal. I mean, he Strike was three, just on in. fire. But so last year, really only in, you know, 40 in. innings pitched, had a great ERA of 1.21 and had 66 strikeouts to 16 walks. So had great command. And just the 2-0 record, though, did, apparently did not factor into many of the decisions. Either uh, the team was able to come back and get the wins after he came out or just was in some close ball games and, and, and only came away with that 2-0 record. But Trent Dixon, as we, we've seen and are seeing right now, I mean, this guy's stuff is incredible. And, and I do think he's a good anchor for this Cacalico rotation. Well, and, you know, when it comes to high school pitching, there's two things that I really look at. The command of their pitch and their control. I mean, a guy that can use the entire strike zone, and he doesn't need to be overpowering and, and be a double-digit strikeout pitcher. But if you can hit different spots in the strike zone and you're not giving up base on balls, uh, you're going to have a successful career because, let's face it, you want to pitch to contact, let your defense do the work. Now, yeah, there is a point in times where, you know, you want to get that strike out. But yeah, if, if you have control and and can avoid the, the base on balls, that that to me is is object number one when it comes to pitching. And they will have some seniors over there on the Cacalico team. I believe one of the my sources over there said somewhere in the neighborhood of, of eight or nine seniors. So, you know, they'll certainly have some experience, going to have some other places to fill. Excited to see uh, Cacalico baseball in action. We'll get them in the middle of April. As far as those two players for Mannheim Central in both Nolan Book, who should play shortstop for them as a senior, and then Kai Watson in the outfield, also a senior. We've seen them many times over the years. They've had some clutch hits as well. Uh, Book was hitting 312 last year with 19 RBI, and then Watson hit 375 with 14 RBI, three home runs. Uh, I just like what those guys bring in experience, talent, leadership. Uh, I'm not sure Man I'm Central has the, the top end pitching that we're used to seeing, you know, with the older Book or uh, mm -hmm. last year with Jared Murray, but you know, Coach Thompson over there is going to throw together a really good squad, and they are the defending Section 3 champs, right, Eric? So you'd have to imagine that. Man, I'm Central, who we are going to see a bunch this year, uh, is going to be right in there contending for Section 3. Yeah, I mean, when you're talking about younger pitchers, you know, you've got to pitch to their strength. And again, it, it goes back to just, you know, throwing strikes, letting your defense do the work. And, you know, I look at Book and, and Watson, and, and especially Watson. I mean, he's a 
I mean, offense, defense, speed, base runner. I mean, everything you would want in a baseball player. So uh, obviously they're going to be the nucleus and they're going to be the ones that everybody's going to be looking for. So if the other guys can step up and and give them the opportunity to let them uh, do their part in driving in the runs, yeah, man, I'm central is going to be right there in the mix again. Yeah, I think they're going to be a pretty good team and I, I have a lot of confidence in them. Uh, Warwick, we, we talked about Sawyer Martin, who uh, it hit like 386 last year, according to the stats. And uh, I think he'll be another good player. Caleb Johnson, keep an eye out for him as well. He catches for Warwick. I think he's an incredible talent. Still can't believe he's going to pick baseball over basketball, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. by the way, I know this is a tangent. He could hit a thousand points in basketball next year for them and not go to college yeah. for that. I, you know, it just blows my mind that he would be the first guy to hit a thousand since 2005 and choose another sport to play. So, yeah. Well, yeah. When, when, when baseball is your number one sport and you still get that kind of production out of your second level sport or your second tiers. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's a heck of an athlete. Yeah. He's a stud.